So if you're confused between the Samsung Galaxy Tab N9 Plus or the Apple iPad 9 generation, then this video can definitely help you in making a decision. So the Galaxy Tab N9 Plus is made out of metal with plastic top for the signal reception. We also have quad speakers, Type C port, magnetic connector for the keyboard accessories, and also an SD card slot to expand the memory. The iPad also has a full metal body, but there are no plastic parts. And we have a magnetic connector for keyboard and the volume rockers. The power button is at the top with the headphone jack. And at the bottom, we have a lightning port with dual speakers and a physical home key with the fingerprint scanner. Weight wise, also, both of them are very similar, so you won't feel much different with either of them. So, we get a full HD 90Hz display on the N9 Plus compared to the 2K 60Hz display on the iPad 9 generation. But the screen quality is a bit better on the iPad. We also have much sharper display because of the high PBI count. Because when you look closer on the N9 Plus, you can make out that the text is not as sharp. If you compare it to the iPad, they are much sharper because of the higher PBI count. So that uh, uh, thus gives iPad an advantage. But overall, there isn't a much uh, bigger difference until you start consuming content. Because even on the YouTube videos, or even if you have an offline file downloaded, you cannot play 2K or 4K content on the N9 Plus. You can see here, we only have uh, option max at 1080 60. But yes, the expect ratio here is much better. And you get a much more like immersive experience here with uh, lesser black borders on, on the top and bottom. When you compare it to the iPad, we have much bigger black borders. The clarity is much sharper here if you compare it to the NN Plus and we also have option for 2K or 4K content streaming. Let's do a little speaker test between the two. NN Plus speakers are definitely louder, but we have a deep bass in the iPad speakers that sounds really good as well. Now this is one of the major differences between the two. So we have Android 13 and One UI 5.1 on the Tab NN Plus, while we get the iPad OS 17 on the Apple iPad 9. So both of them are really different and catered to our different users. So I'm not going to really go deep into the Android versus iOS thing. But both of them has a lot of their advantages and disadvantages. We get more flexibility on the Android while you get much more consistent experience on the iPad. So like for this example, I have the keyboard in landscape mode and when I do the auto retention, you can check out how much there is lag between the switch happens. And if you compare it to the iPad, it just happens so seamlessly. So these are small things that are the key differences. I'm not trying to bash and anyone but yeah that feels a bit more refined on the ipad os but uh, that is not a big deal here but just to point out the differences for customization we have the material you theming on the samsung uh, galaxy tab n and plus and also you can customize the lock screen with different fonts and designs and we have similar looking options on the ipad os as well we can customize the wallpapers the lock screen clock style and everything and, but we cannot uh, customize the home screen that we can do much better on the Android or the Samsung tab. Another thing is I have noticed that when using your tablet in the portrait mode, if you try to type, uh, it gets a bit difficult. Even in the landscape mode, it gets even much difficult on the iPad. And if you compare that to the Samsung tablet, we have options to actually uh, create a floating keyboard for easier typing with one hand. Or we can split the keyboard if you want to use two hands so that makes a bit easier to type on and coming to the performance we have the a13 bionic on the ipad 9 gen while we get a snapdragon 695 on the a9 plus so i ran the geekbench 6 benchmark and uh, definitely the ipad 9 gen was much faster it started the test sooner and also completed it uh, a lot faster than the a9 plus and the scores are also not surprising. We have double the scores for both single and multi-core. 
Um, so for performance wise, if you want to do a lot of gaming or editing stuff, iPad 9 is going to be definitely much better. Now here I've tried to open the Call of Duty mobile game at the same time to show you how this benchmark results in the practical usage. For example, the games will load up much faster. The videos if you are editing it, they will render much faster. Like here you can see how fast the game loads up. So this does makes a difference in day to day life. And we can also see that we are by default we have the very high graphics while we have the low graphics by default on the Call of Duty. But we can set it to high and max. Uh, but the experience is not going to be the best here. I have noticed that it does not feel like smooth as 60 FPS. And uh, during fire or heavy action, this definitely stutters. I usually play at low and max that gives the best experience. So you can definitely play the, those games here on the NN Plus but uh, not at the highest settings and not at the stable 60 fps Playing on the iPad, I immediately felt the difference. It was running very smooth and I could feel that it was running on 60 FPS. And also if you notice the colors and the clarity is much sharper here. So definitely a much superior experience while gaming compared to the Tab A9+. Plus. A very important feature of the tablet is to create notes and if you're planning to write a lot of notes it's going to be difficult on the NN plus because we do not have a stylus support an active stylus support you can use the normal ones but there are delays even if with the normal ones so for note taking definitely the iPad is going to be much superior we have the Apple pencil first gen support which you can buy separately and we have the uh, advanced palm rejection and uh, pressure sensitivity and all that so if you want to do a lot of drawings and illustrations like use procreate which is another very helpful app for the ipad so for illustrators and creators this is going to be a much better experience with the ipad so, so definitely for note taking ipad is going to be the one and storage is here where the nn plus takes the advantage we have 128 gb internal memory which is really helpful if you want to uh, like store a lot of media files and we also have option to expand it using a memory card with up to a terabyte of memory card support while the 64 GB on the iPad variant is fills up really fast and you need to use the iCloud subscription to store any media files also due to the lightning connector we are very limited to use any kind of external storage solutions the battery backup on both the tablets are pretty similar we get 6 to 7 hours of skin on time and 3 hours of charging time the backup is similar is because NN Plus has a 90Hz display while the iPad has a higher resolution screen so that evens up the battery backup. Now if you want to use this as a mini laptop, we have a lot of accessories available for the iPad A9 which are lacking for the Tab A9 Plus. So you can usually attach a keyboard like here. This is a Logitech keyboard, I will link it in the description. And all the shortcuts are working here, we can easily type and use it as a mini laptop if you want. For the tab NN Plus, we can use a wireless keyboard like this from the Logitech. You can use this keyboard with the iPad as well. But we have the advantage on the uh, NN Plus is the Samsung Dex mode. This transforms your tablet into a mini laptop and we can attach a keyboard and then uh, easily type in it. And uh, the Dex mode has special features 
uh, that is similar to a Windows laptop and all the shortcuts also work here similar to that of iPad like to control your brightness or volume and another advantage here is that the applications open up in floating windows and you can also use a mouse with it using a mouse on the samsung tablet is much easier compared to the ipad because ipad has its own kind of how you want to use the mouse with the different pointers and everything so if you're used to windows you will find much easier to use the samsung tablet so out of the two tablets i'm using personally the samsung tablet mainly because I have a Windows laptop and Android phone and it is much easier to communicate between these three. Also I'm personally more inclined towards the Android ecosystem than the, the iOS ones. So, but yes iPad if you want to do a lot of heavy gaming and uh, illustrations then if that too is your uh, like uh, main priority then the iPad is going to be uh, one of the best purchases. And if you can upgrade you can get the 10th generation you can get the type C. To use the external ssds and all that so if you compare these two i would recommend you to go for the um, the samsung tablet if you do not have any problem with android so hopefully this video was helpful and cleared some of your doubts so that was it for this video if you have any questions about these two let me know in the comments thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one